Welcome, welcome, hello everybody, welcome to Groot Squad live stream. I'm gonna be streaming on Twitch here for a while. But first I'm gonna I'm gonna give a little instructional video and share some tips and tricks. First thing I wanted to cover is the uh the booyah base recipe for the quest with dinner with a friend or goofy he asks you to cook the booyah base and one of the and uh in order to do that get our uh, there we go hey that's better much better sorry got the standby screen okay, in order to do that you need a few ingredients He's going to send you to catch fresh seafood. Each. He's going to ask you to catch two shrimp, two clams, and two scallops. Go and talk to Goofy, and he's going to want you to cook the bully bases. Two of them. Now, the trick with this is a couple of times I've tried it, it hasn't come out. When I helped my wife to put it together, it worked out fine. I still have not been able to get past this quest. And I ran across a YouTube video the other day from uh, Bethany Lay's channel that she described how to make it. Put in one clam, one scallop, one shrimp, one tomato, and one carrot. And it works. I don't know if the recipe book is going to actually work with this, but. My problem is, I've tried this a few times, and I only have one shrimp. So we got one shot at this. We're gonna do a clam. Where's the clam? One clam. One scallop. Wait a minute. Clam. Oh no! One clam. Why is it not? Okay, let's try this. One clam. Okay. One scallop. One shrimp. One tomato. Oh, I got tomatoes cooking. I still got tomatoes growing. So we're gonna have to wait on this. But it's gonna be one tomato. And then a carrot. And then you're good to roll. That is the recipe I got from Bethany Lay's channel. I'm going to put the link in the description of this video. Hopefully before the end of the video I'll get a chance to complete it. But that's basically the recipe for the bully base. Or you can hit the uh, recipe and go to Booyah Base. And it's still asking for a shrimp and a tomato, which I don't have. But you see it shows two random seafood. And a shrimp and a tomato and a random vegetable. I don't necessarily trust that right now, just because I've had so many other issues with the recipe. But we'll try it again another time. So... What we're gonna do instead is we're just gonna fiddle around, play through. Feel free to stick around. Harvest some vegetables here. Make sure we're to check dream light. The dream light duties that come up every day, they're different, they're easy. They're usually something that you can do in just a few moments. Time. Catch three fish, find two minerals. Prepare a two-star meal, sell two meals, pick three mushrooms, and bring a friend their favorite gift. These are all easy dream light. As you can see, my dream light total is pretty high, but that's mostly from cooking right now. I did a bunch of cooking. You can see cook with spices, 10 out of 10. Next one's going to be 40. Once you cook with spices 40 times, you get 200 dream light. Cooking meals, any meals, is going to count towards this goal. Next one is in four more meals. Get 200 dream light. 
cook two star meals are better. There's one for cook three star meals are better. Here's one for cook four star meals are better. And here's one for cook five star meals. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test something out. I'm going to rem going to Remy's Remy's realm. I can talk. I guess I need something. Um, I'm going to go to Remy's realm and I'm going to cook some five star meals and see if it counts towards this goal. I've only cooked a few five star meals. We'll see if that counts. In the meantime, select our rewards for this. Upgrade Wally's garden. And if you haven't yet, I highly suggest that you join the event going on right now. It's the Disney Pixar Fest. Our path. Okay. Looks like it doesn't have my saved game. Wow. Oh, that that bites. I lost my progress on this. Well, that's what happens with the beta game, folks. Remember, when you play this game, don't knock it so hard. It is in beta. So what we're going to do is, instead of worrying about the dinner with a friend, I was working on Kristoff's Broken Sled. Also... Quests I've got. As Anna talks to Chris off. Yeah. Eve. Yes. Merlin. Trying to figure out what saved and what did not. Very interesting. Some of these did save, some of them did not. Didn't do, let's see. I'm at the same quest I was at with Mr. Gothel when I logged out last. Same thing with Remy. Remy needs me a craft. Let's go, go listen as Anna talks to Kristoff. Oh. Thing is, they're right here. There are a couple things I wanted to talk about in today's video is the canola. I've been using canola as my main day. Wants me to talk to Anna. Hold off on just a moment for that. For Anna, you can hold off. A couple of things I wanted to talk about was the canola and pumpkins. I've heard uh, a lot on that that uh, the pumpkin is the way to go for. Where, how much is flowers, bells, ingredients? There we go. Now the pumpkin, you can buy the seed in the Forgotten Lands. Seed costs 275. Its oh, grow time, me. its grow time is 240. And the selling price is 664. It gives you a profit of 389. Um, when you harvest it, you only get one, but you do need to water it twice. Now, I've been using the, the canola for most of my farming, and you get those seeds in the Forest of Valor. The grow time is 35 minutes, the seed cost is 25, you sell it for 109, and your profit is 84. Harvest it, you get one out of the harvest, but you do have to water it four times. Four times in 35 minutes, you need to come back and re-water it. The pumpkin, you only need to water it twice in 240 minutes. 
So essentially it taps the watering, getting a whole lot more return on your pumpkin. Um, one of my personal favorites now is the okra. It only takes um, basically two hours to grow, 120 minutes. The seed costs 135. Can't be right. I'm thinking a typo. Sell price for 114. No, I think the okra. The okra takes 120 minutes to grow. Buy costs 135. Sells for 171. Yeah, that was a typo. Um, and your profit is 207. If you harvest it. You get three out of what out of it. And only have to water it once. Best thing about that is your friendship level increases each time that you plant it, each time you water it, each time, and when you harvest it. Then you get the experience for that. So if you're trying to get friends up in level, that's the route to go. That's how I've gotten, you know, everybody I have up to level 10. So far, the only ones I still need to work on are Elsa and Ariel and Ursula. The only ones I don't have to level 10 yet. I should have Elsa up to level 10 by the end of today. And going to help Anna. God, Kristoff's memories. <laughs> Remember, I believe in you. Look for Kristoff's climbing gear on Dazzle Beach near the cliffs. While we're up here. Yeah. While we're up here, we're going to do some mining. Don't leave this area without mining these. Because you need a whole lot of iron. Lots and lots and lots of iron. You also need lots of rope. Any chance you get, throw that fishing line in the water. <clears throat> Try and catch some seaweed. A lot of quests are requesting those materials. A lot of sushi recipes require seaweed. For the recipes, I highly recommend going to Remy's Realm and testing in his kitchen, just so you learn the recipes. We're going to go there after we look for Kristoff's climbing gear. There we go. Blue or yellow. Kinda. Go to the bridge. Throw our fishing line and see what we might catch here. Um, right on, right on. Farming is something I do highly recommend. It does help you raise those friendship levels a lot. A great source of income. Um, I've heard another another source of income. People will go. To Remy's restaurant, and you just cook souffles. You buy all the ingredients for it and cook it right there. Make a profit on it. Really, really easy thing to do. Only problem with that that I've seen is it just it takes so long with the animations between cooking, um, and you're just standing there at the stove. Cooking, it, it feels more like work. Like if you want to go into a kitchen and be a chef all day, then that's fine. But I like to plant my crops, go adventure, play the game, and just have some fun with the game and then come back and take care of the crops. It seems like it's just a lot of work with some crops having to come back all the time. There we go. We'll pick that up. Bring Kristoff's. Climbing gear to Anna. Let's locate Anna in the map. But if you do want a lot of, if 
you do want fast money, that is a really easy way. Just make those souffles. If you're going to do that, I would highly recommend moving your stove somewhere outdoors. Like near one of Goofy's stalls, that way you can sell it really easy. I've seen that, I've seen it recommended that you can move it down to Dazzle Beach. And by moving your whole house down there as well, you can just put a lot of farmland here. Because there's not a lot on the beach. You can just move the few things that are here out of the way and place crops as far as the eye can see on the beach. And that way you get to look over the ocean while you're harvesting. So that's something to think about as well. Go and get this mind. Then we need to go talk to Anna. While you're wandering around, pick things up, pick them. You have this boat for Moana prepared. I recommend come back here every 10 minutes, get free fish. Go. Another piece of that puzzle. Something I probably haven't mentioned in any of my other videos yet is these memories. You can see these memories here. Unlock them as you progress through the game. Some of these are specific to individuals. Like most of these just say unlock by progressing. Some of these, like when you get down to the Wally one, these Wally memories find exclusive memory pieces when digging with Wally. Find exclusive memory pieces when gardening. Find exclusive memory pieces when fishing. Some of these are very specific. Okay, same thing with Moana's fishing, digging, gardening, night thorns, watering flowers. Cooking, fishing, gardening, watering flowers, feeding critters. Here's another one. Feeding critters, cooking, gardening, watering flowers, night thorns. Each of these has individual tasks that you need to do in order to unlock more pieces of it. Go. So that's just something to think about. Also, the critters. Feeding the critters is a great way because you can make new friends. You go to your wardrobe. Companions. Once you have more than one companion, or I don't think it shows if you only have one. Because when I first started this game, I only had one companion. That was Choco Crocodile. And... I kept feeding the squirrels. Get peanuts at Remy's restaurant. And the squirrels love peanuts. Now that's interesting. See, I've got an incredible squirrel from when I bought the pass and got the event. But uh, the rewards for the event. But now it's not showing that I have the event. See this? Weird. I've got an incredible squirrel. And Pua. I unlocked Pua. I've been feeding the sea turtles, the. Uh, the uh, seaweed, but to unlock those. Um, make sure to feed the little critters that you come across. Because that is, one, it's just so darn cute. And two, different critters like different, different oh, items. That's really interesting. Really, really interesting. It's not showing. See, I had unlocked level four. Hmm. And it's not there anymore. Okay, let's go to Dreamlight. Collect our reward for that. <clears throat> Have a daily discussion. Easy peasy. Let's go talk to Elsa. Tell me about your powers. Ice and snow. Feel different. Does ice feel like sharp and clear? There you go. And that was it. Oh my god, it did it to mine. Oh, it shows completed up here. Oh, you completed it. Did you complete it? Yeah. See, and then it goes, go back up there. I got mining, mine emeralds. Go to the event and then... 
Oh. No. Yeah, I've got nothing. They're all locked. I had unlocked two, three, four, and nothing's unlocked. Hmm. It doesn't even show that I unlocked the premium. It still shows unlocked premium. I already unlocked it. And I don't have the coins for it anymore. I had the 8,000 and I paid for it. I'm going to have to email support. You'll Hopefully earn the 9,000. Yeah, but I had the 8,000. I've lost my 9,000. I, mm -hmm. I need to email support. Let them know that uh, the latest patch has somehow bugged my game. I had an issue with logging into the game as well. For like the last week, I've had to use... See, well, let me collect now. Collect. There we go. Nice shot. Oh, my inventory is full. That's why I want to be collect. Okay, well, that's not a bug. That's just on me. Um, let's go sell. <clears throat> Let's see. Last video, we talked a little bit about recipe invention, or Remy's place. Let's see. We're going to do a video with all of these tips one time. Uh, speaking of the, the seeds, the canola, the okra, and the pumpkin seeds, once you unlock the Forgotten Lands, you can buy the pumpkin seeds. It does take four hours to grow. You do have to water them a lot. Um, all of you should, should join the Discord channel for Disney Dreamlight Valley. There is a wonderful spreadsheet on there that tells you um, what each of the critters likes. Their spawn days are. We'll put a a link in the video for that. Mentioned in our previous video how squirrels like peanuts, <clears throat> rabbits like carrots. And ask if anybody, like anybody liked any new new items. If anybody knew of any other items other critters liked besides the. The sea turtles, rabbits, and raccoons, and then I discovered, really by accident, um, one of the, uh, I think it was the hummingbird. Yeah. Red sunbird likes the, the red bromelade. Yeah. Really, yeah. In the sunlit plateau. Two of them like that. I will put a link to the, uh, it's a Google Doc, so everybody that has a, a Google Docs or Google email account should be able to open it pretty easily. I was holding on to that vanilla because I thought somebody liked it, would like it for their for their uh, gift. I'm going to open up to everybody here. If you open up your collection, go to characters. You can hover over each person's name to see what their favorite thing of the day is. Right now, Merlin wants calling pen. Style, hors d'oeuvres, Bali, wants string parts, red boom in the bromelia, any aquamarine. Maui would like a seafood platter, walleye, asparagus. Juana would like a pike, a purple falling persimmon. Uh, ratatouille, Remy wants uh, tomato soup, spinach, or marinated herring. I don't think I have any of those. Still waiting on my tomatoes. One tomato, you got your they waiting on my tomatoes to grow for the soup that I needed to, to make for the whole reason I was recording a video for the day. And I failed on that. It's just one of those days. I'm going to have to just go but with the flow. If they want it, if they want to eat. Yeah. Tomato. Elsa wants a baked carp. Red fruit sorbet or red, red consortium. Mother Gothel wants citrus, creamy soup, yellowness. Donald Duck, perch, seafood soup, green passion lily, tea, cod, aquamarine, or fish salad. That duck Mickey voice. Mouse. Pasta, banana, orange and red marsh, milkweed, 
Minnie Mouse wants white bill flower and mint chocolate. Gooseberry, I didn't even do that. Goodness. Grilled fish, shiny peridot, iron ore. Scrooge McDuck seems like he always wants iron ore and or shiny peridot. It always just seems to be, or that or an emerald. Um, I don't see anybody that wants um, anything that I've got except for, I've got some bricks. Maybe Ariel would like a brick because I know I've got bricks in my bag. And the asparagus, I thought I had some. Let's see. Fairly certain. I had held on to some. Just in case. Yes, I have asparagus. Okay, so we'll sell the cucumber. Bass. There was a recipe I think I needed that bass for. So I'm going to hold on to that. Amethyst, I'm going to hold on to for later. A lot of this I'm just going to sell. Got tons of stone. Other items at home. Chili pepper, dandelion. I don't think I need the dandelion or coal. Or I'm holding on to because I'm doing a lot of cooking recently. Sell those chili peppers. Mint. Vanilla. Mushrooms. I'm holding on to because I'm finding them. Those for a rest or something. Garlicum holding. Oh, garlicum selling. No ball I need. Sell these and and the other. Go together as a set. And these all I'm keeping except for the lemons. Let's sell all of that. Who was it that won? Asparagus. That was Maui. Maui's probably not in his home because he's talking about doing demigod things. I'm gonna bring him. Probably at the restaurant or Scrooge's place. Nope, not in the restaurant. I didn't see him. I don't. Hiding. Okay. Well, maybe. Maybe he went somewhere. Maybe he's on vacation. Check his house. Just recently released a patch like day before yesterday where they supposedly fixed the issue with the stove. Um, there was a stove that Remy gives you as a gift. Friendship gift. And every time you try and use it, it wouldn't let you. It would kind of circle around it, bring the camera around, and it would zoom back out. Uh, reading patch notes. Yesterday while I was at work. Worked. All right, it got it fixed. So for those of you who have been waiting to use that stove, it is fixed. Yeah, me too. I've got the stove in my kitchen, but I haven't been using it because it's been busted. There's my, there's Maui. Yeah, there's been several fixes that they implemented. Get over here. Let's talk to You're him. Here. Give him. Move. Give him your gift. Just need your help finding Eric. All right. now we uh, quite. You're not done with me yet. Tell me something about yourself. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Wait a minute. Not done yet. I'm just talking to you for, for the points, man. I just want money. Okay, I have something to give you. I'm going to give you that asparagus you've been wanting. And there we go. We are max level with him already, so he's not going to give us anything more than the credit. Okay, or bring a friend their favorite gift. So we'll go to the Dreamlight duties. Bring a friend their favorite gift. That's 250. Threatening. 
the vegetables. Don't forget, keep double checking on the event. Give Wally, give favorite gifts to Wally. Give favorite gifts to Remy. Okay, just a minute here. Let me hop on over to Discord. Is I wanted to read those notes for everybody, but I think what happened is I closed it out when I was trying to fix go. Topic food. Okay, the recent patch notes are as of yesterday at 10 a.m. They said they did some uh, balancing issues, adjusted the spawn rates and loot tables for sparkling buried items. They increase the respawn timer range, uh, reduce minimum and maximum number of sparkling buried items to spawn at a given time per biome. They added dream shards to the reward loot table. Uh, each sparkling buried item has a chance to spawn either one or two night shards or one or two dream shards. Um, they adjusted the loot tables for feeding critters. They removed flowers from the loot tables. They added dream shards to the loot tables. When feeding critters, something they like. Previously, it was only possible to get dream shards from feeding critters, something they love. So that's going to help a little bit there. Yeah. Um, um, they adjusted the... They adjusted the loot tables for clearing night thorns, reduced the chance of coal dropping, increased the chance of dream shards dropping, and a few bug fixes. Um, in general, they fixed error number seven, which caused some players to experience an issue with the game sticking on the loading screen if they quit the game while having the well-fed active buff. Fix account de desynchronization issue that occurred when selecting back to title screen on Epic Games Store. Go to Remy's Realm. Do some cooking here. See if the see if that counts. There we go. Fix any. Let's see. Fixed issues causing some users to be desynchronized from their profile due to connection latency. See, I was just having connection issues completely. Don't let me connect at all. They fixed an issue causing some users... See, they improved online reconnection while playing improved Founders Pack rewards, claiming accuracy, granting missing rewards. We'll continue to monitor this issue and explore further bug fixes as needed. If you experience this bug, please fully close the game and reboot it while connected to the internet. Then check your inbox for a new message. Continue. Um, we're in what realm would you pick up a tomato or two? Uh, there we go. And we'll test something here. Also, in the bug fixes, um, the user interface and experience. They increase the text font size on Switch. They increase the menu loading speed. Stability issues. They reduce the crash frequency on Switch. Additional optimization will come in future updates. We're having some crashing. Go to our dream light. Cooking. Cook meals. We're at 221. Cook 
two star meals is 164. The one star meals are better, is maxed out. So we're at 221 for the cooked meals. The two star meals are better, is 164. Or let's go to cook. Let's cook that up. See what we get. It is a two star vegetable soup. Put one in. We're up. One star tomato soup. And go back to our cooking. We're at 221 for cooked meals. Darn. Well, that's a little disappointing. I was hoping that you'd get the credit for that, but nope, nope. nope. All right. Well, now you've seen it, folks. Now don't don't waste your time. Let's see. As far as uh, back to the patch notes. Fishing review at our house first. A fixing issue with quest items not appearing in Scrooge McDuck's store. If you experience this bug, the item will not spawn in Scrooge McDuck's Duck's store, but will spawn in a random unlocked location outside in the village to back up. If you struggle to find the item, feel free to contact customer care. Fixing issue with Wally's little guy, little robot quest involving a fire extinguisher that was not working correctly. If you experience this bug, you can find the fire extinguisher waiting for you inside Scrooge McDuck's store. They fixed an issue with Scrooge McDuck's Scrooge Scrooge McDuck's grand reopening quest in which crafting flower pots did not work correctly. If you experience it, you can find additional flower pots just outside Scrooge McDuck's store. Remove them using the furniture editing mode to craft with them. Uh, they fixed an issue which quest items were stuck in the bottom of the Mystic Cave on the beach. Okay. Fixed an issue in which a memory shard appeared in an unreachable part of Merlin's Dreamlight Library. Fixed an issue with Elsa's What Home Feels Like. Ah. Where it was possible to catch a glittering herring too early in the quest. If you experience this bug, you can now catch another glittering herring. The other one will be removed at the end of the quest. Uh, customization, house, valley, and avatar. They fixed the issue which chests placed in the player's house may disappear when adding new rooms. If you experience the bug, you can add new crafted chests to your house. Your items that disappeared will reappear here. Fix an issue in which players who imported clothing from the avatar designer tool were unable to change clothing or clothing appeared invisible. That would be inconvenient. Fix an issue in which some rewards from the star path would be available to acquire in areas of the game they were not intended to. Fix an issue with Ariel's Seafoam Gown, Friendship Reward, in which it was invisible. Fix an issue which the player could not cook on the oven and hood gifted by Remy, Friendship Reward. And they adjusted Miguel, one of the motifs. And they basically say thank you to everybody for their patience. They're going to continue to work on it. 
for players who are still waiting on others. They appreciate your continued patience. They, they're aware this patch doesn't address every issue, but they're, they're working on it. They are listening and actively working on resolving additional issues so everyone has the best play experience. There we go. We need more seaweed. We might want to go directly to makers of the game, Game Loft. That's a good question. They might have a place to reach out on the You can reach out Instagram. They do have a channel for suggestions, announcements, patch notes, off topic. I'm guessing it depends on where you bought it. I would check with them first, like we got ours at Epic. You might want to go with them first and then like reach out to them. Um, I understand a lot of people have been having a lot of um, a lot of success reaching out on Twitter. Something to consider as well. Let's go. A couple things I want to go over for today's video is how to approach some of the critters. Some of our favorite critters that we want to have friends. Worlds are pretty easy because they approach you. Get a little on here. Let's start with a berry. Oh, Is it God, oh. now, the squirrels are very simple. They pretty much come straight up to you. You just walk straight up to them. They're not going to run away. They're not too skittish. Rabbits, they'll be a distance from you at start and start jumping. Run to their location. And repeat it. Uh, four times get the prompt. Raccoons. They'll get about medium close to you and they stand still, staring and nervous. Just inch towards them. When they crouch down, then you take a step. And just like one step at a time. You gotta take it really slow with those guys. They're really super skittish. I think I've only managed to feed the raccoons a couple of times. Um, crocodiles, similar to raccoons, stand still and stare at you. Take a step or two when they look relax. It may take a bit of practice to recognize this. They kind of look down as opposed to around and alert. Same as raccoons. Just approach them really, really slowly. Take it in baby steps. Around? Turtles. Ooh, there we go. Turtles, you want to approach till they hide in their shell. Stand still and wait for them to come out, and then approach again. There, the turtles are pretty easy, really basic. If uh, if you go running past them, go walk right up to them, and they don't hide in their shell, then they're not hungry. They're not interested. But generally speaking, you uh, you run up to them and they hide. Then just wait for them to pop their head back out. They'll come. They'll, uh, they'll let you feed them. Pretty easy. I think the turtles are the cutest. 
Foxes, they're like rabbits. Kind of skittish. They'll stay a distance from you. They'll start jumping. Then you run to their location. They'll run away from you. They'll stop. They'll start bouncing. Then you run up to them. They'll run away from you. They'll start bouncing. Rabbits seemed to me to be the hardest. I haven't quite got the rhythm, I guess. Um, the birds were like squirrels. You can just go right up to them. Yay, we got Elsa at 10. There we go. That's pretty much all I wanted to do today. Um, just do some crafting, fishing. I need a lot of iron ore. I need a lot of seaweed, a lot of clay. There's going to be a point in this game where you're going to be grinding a lot for materials for different quests. Um, can't see it in the, but here, the one for Donald Duck. You need uh, two yellow, yellow bromelade, bromeliad, three pink house leeks, two white marsh milkweed, Three blue hydrangeas, an empty vial, and I'm going to make that odorous, magnificent enchantment. Dinner with a friend with Goofy. He's going to have you fish for shrimp, clams, and scallops. Uh, Kristoff's is proving to be quite time consuming because you need tinkering parts, which needs, um, I, think, I think you need two iron ingots to make the tinkering parts. You need iron ore to make the iron ingots. Hardwood you can collect. Fiber you need seaweed for. Uh, Maui's, he wants uh, purified night shards. Water from the Forgotten Lands. Water from the Frosted Heights. That one's not so difficult. Um, one from Merlin I've got right now. Purified night shards. Might take a little bit to gather those up. Other Gothel. Gothel. Gather the following items. We need softwood, soil, and a box of electric components from Wally's house. Not too difficult. The soil is going to be really easy. Just go digging. Pick that up. The softwood again, you collect it. Requiring 50 of them. 30 of the soil, so it might take a little while. Uh, this, the snowballs for this one, for Remy, took me a long time to get. Just because I had sold all the snowballs that I had before, so I had to wait for it to respawn. All the ice. Those ice. Yeah. And the Ursula wants sushi and lobster roll. It's taken me a while to find the sushi and the lobsters. Basically, you can use any fish for the sushi. The lobster rolls, obviously, you need lobster for. Um, Wally's has been very, very problematic because of all the components I need to bring for him. He wants me to craft tinkering pot. 12 tinkering parts. Um, the minis, and there was one from Elsa that I remember was very difficult. Had a lot of gathering to do. Um, same thing early on. There was one from uh, Kristoff where he needed to, needed to build his uh, his shack. Also with Goofy. He asks you to build this boat. Or to get Ariel, you need to build this boat for Goofy. And Moana also was asking me at the same time a bunch of uh, crafting materials and yeah, there's a few of them I don't have any quests for at all because I completed them Anna and Mickey completed those uh, ready let's go to our dream light select the fishy one event give Remy gifts Favorite gifts to Wally and cook pan seared bass and vegetables. That's why I was saving the best. Alrighty. Well, that I think is going to do it. There we go. There's our little turtle. Let's see if the turtle wants some seaweed. Hiding his head, which means he's hungry. So we can slowly approach him. There it is, the prompt. We go to the seaweed. Give him one. And he likes it. Who gave us a bag? Nice. Is a bag? 
What motif did we earn? Ah, uh, nice little heart, like Zelda. Looks like a Zelda heart to me. This guy's hiding his head. I wonder if he... He might be hungry, too. I like this guy. Little purple one. There you is. All right. I'll bite your little head. Have some seaweed, my friend. Lovely. He's gonna drop him. Well, nice. Another thing about the critters, they usually give you something you need. There's another heart. Different kind, but it's like a gemstone. Order wardrobe. We'll see if we have any more new companions. Yes, the brown sea turtle is a new companion for us, I think. I think I had the purple sea turtle earlier. Getting credit squirrel going here. Bugged because you can only get the Increta Squirrel through the event rewards. And I already bought him because I had the premium at one time. I also have the Low Incredibles, Low Boot Incredibles suit. Kind of funny. Let me see if it's still in my costumes. Yes, it is. I still have the Incredibles suit that I bought when I had the premium. For some reason, my premium has disappeared. That's okay. Yep, bug the game. Gotta love the beta. I love it. This area over here, if there's any tip I would give new players in addition to saving up your seaweed and save up a lot of materials I would say save up for a while because you're going to need them. Definitely in the Glade of Trust would be probably one of the first areas I would recommend unlocking just so you can go in there, get the clay. You're going to want to harvest a lot of mushrooms for Merlin, so save those. Also the iron ore. Get a lot of those here. Iron ore is another item I would say save because I unlocked the Forest of Valor and there's only couple spots. One over here, one over here, and one over here, I want to say, for mining the iron ore. Yes, it's just not enough. Uh, Frosted Heights is really expensive to unlock, whereas uh, the Dazzle Beach is relatively cheap as well as the Glade of Trust. So I would do this first. Sunlit Plateau, Pretty good as well. And the Forgotten Lands. All three of these areas here are good for the iron ore and the clay. So if you find yourself needing those, that's a, that's a great great place to go to get those. Um, a lot of flowers will only spawn in one location. Like either the Plaza or the Peaceful Meadow. Um, or Dazzle Beach. Um, great thing to do is just use this collection page. to look up the characters and their favorite items for the day but you can also go to the crafting hover over an item like the fiber you need seaweed for that down there it shows you the recipe um, so on scrolling down let's see go back over to critters emerald sunbird where to find it sun low plateau so if you want to unlock these or find them then it'll tell you where they are yuga fugu Find it on Dazzle Beach. Um, I believe the Fugu, it has to be raining. There's a Lancet Fish. Get that in the Forgotten Lands. Um, some areas that some of these fish um, are available in don't have water to fish in yet. I think the Forgotten Lands is one of them. I may be wrong. But I don't think there's any ponds in the Forgotten Lands yet. Map shows two. Okay, that might have been updated since the last time I looked for, looked at it. But anyhow, this area here where it shows your collection, um, foraging. If you need clay, you can look where to find it. Okay, in the Glade of Trust, the Sunlit Plateau, or the Forgotten Lands. Um, but an easier way to do this is in the uh, 
in the Google Doc that I will link in the video. The Discord channel is where I got this. Um, it's got pages on it for Disney Dreamlight Valley. Um, each tab is going to have different stuff. The first tab is going to have your meals, all the recipes, um, the items you need, the energy needed, sell price. Um, next tab is going to be your gems. Uh, where they're located at, where you can find them, and how much they sell for. And then it's got a tab for flowers, where they are located, and how much they sell for. Um, I would highly recommend keeping a few of each flower. There's a few quests where you need some flowers, and you can just go and grab those, go and take care of the quests, and then just put your saved ones in your in your house. Um, the other thing is uh, your chest gets full pretty fast, so... Um, do what my wife has done. Got a great idea. You can either just place them on the ground in your house or place them outside. And they're right there ready for you. They're not going to disappear. Another tab back to the document um, has your stalls where you can lo locate what items. If you buy apples, you can look it up and you can see they're available at the Peaceful Meadow. Um, zucchini seeds, suddenly plateau. Corn, you'll get it on Dazzle Beach. You need onions or canola seed. They're in the Forest of Valor. Um, same thing with fish. It has a list of the fish, where they're located. Also a listing of the ingredients and where you can locate those ingredients. It has a list of the animals and what their favorite food is and where they're located at. Oh has a tab for animal spawn days. Such as the... Um, Say like the black squirrel. Um, appears on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. Does not show up on Monday and Wednesday or Saturday. So if you want a black squirrel, don't bother looking for him on Monday. Um, let's see, and it's going to help you with that. Crafting materials. It gives you a list of all the crafting materials where they're located, um, such as coal ore can be found in all biomes. Uh, crystal only can be found in the Forgotten Lands. Um, something such as dry wood can be found in Forgotten Lands, Frosted Heights, and the Sunlight Plateau. Don't go looking in the Glade of Trust, you won't find any dry wood there. Glade of Trust, you'll find hardwood, but not the dry wood. Same thing with iron ore. Iron ore can be found in Forgotten Lands, Frosted Heights, Forest of Valor, Blade of Trust, Sunlight Plateau. And it tells you how you get it from mining or digging or pick it up. And there's also a page with time zones. When everything resets. Different times for each item to be reset. Critter feeding or daily discussions that you have with people to get um, Dreamlight. Your character's favorite foods. Um, Scrooge's store, Goofy's stall, and Kristoff's stall. Um, they all reset at 10, 9 a.m. Scrooge's, Goofy's, and Kristoff's all reset at 9 a.m. Um, that is going to do it for today, folks. Thank you for joining in my live stream. I'll probably start up again and just do some random play, but I'm not going to do a whole lot more of tips and tricks. Probably have my mute my microphone muted just so I can enjoy the game and you guys can just watch the play. Hope you all have a great day and keep being awesome.